All right, what's going on, guys? Today's video, I'm going to go to go over a simple way to actually record on Mac with audio. I've spent probably four hours researching different ways and stuff like that and how to use it. And this is the only method I found that actually works. All right, I'm going to show you how to install the download software as well. So this is a plugin that works for Mac and Windows, but obviously this is a Mac tutorial. So I'm going to use the Mac extension. You're going to go to this uh, website in the description down below. Scroll all the way down. Don't click on anything until you see this uh, option one, download one installer. You're going to click that and then you're going to go ahead and get brought to this website. You could donate if you want or you could press I already have donated basically and then you can enter your email address to send the download link. And if you want the Windows version, just press the Windows version and then enter your uh, information to be notified for the Windows version. And then just information about this here. If we go to the email here, it shows you the download link. You're going to go and open that and it shows you if you want black hole two channel, 16 channel or 64 channel. I'm using 16 channel just for this video, which I'm pretty sure it means better audio. Not too sure. Uh, obviously, the bigger file size is the the more expensive for your storage. So just get the middle. It's the sweet spot, basically. So obviously with the built-in screen recorder with QuickTime, if you don't know what that is, you just search up QuickTime player, you do this, you have a shortcut that you can easily do and you can do file, new screen recording, and then it'll automatically push that like this. On my keyboard, it's shift, windows key and five. And then you can choose your audio recording and stuff like that right here. Obviously it won't show the audio because I'm recording right now, but that's what it's gonna show. Then you're gonna wanna download a couple things. By that, I mean one. So you're gonna download the black hole right here, which basically allows you to record audio through this channel. By default, it'll be at 100%. I would recommend to drop it to about 50, maybe play around with it if you want. And then you can change the audio quality. It goes from 48, which is standard, all the way up to 768,000, which is kind of insane. Obviously, the bigger the, the number, the higher the quality, but the bigger the file. So keep in mind on that. You can change the input value as well. This is a 16 channel, 32 bit file. For the type of microphone, you're also gonna change the input value. So if I wanted to change the microphone's value, you could either do it separately on the microphone's actual channel like this, which is good to have, or you can do it on your audio device's settings. So this is the in value, which is the input. You could change the audio value like that, and it should automatically change in real time. This is the output. Don't worry about the output if it's for a microphone. But for the audio device, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this plus here. You're gonna create an aggravated device, which is right here. And this is gonna be for your input values, which are the black hole as 16 channel and the 17 channel would be your microphone it'll auto check this drift correction just keep that on it doesn't matter on what device you have plugged in but just make sure these are both checked so those are the both input values that you're going to want and you can check the input and output values right here so make sure this one has that if there's two this one has a zero input value and two output values so make sure you have the correct one selected for the plus here you're going to do a multi output device and that's basically whenever you're going to record you're going to switch your your hearing so instead of using headphones or your mac mini speakers or your monitor speaker you're going to click this new multi-output device and that's going to be for whatever recording uh device you want to use along with the black hole uh plugin and it's going to auto code uh, check one of them off depending on which one you're going to want to do but that's basically how you're going to do it if you do have a app or something to be able to change the audio i recommend using that and then you're obviously going to have to change some sound because you can't adjust the audio anymore at all you're going to have to change your audio sound within the game and stuff like that to make up for what you're hearing and what the audience is going to be hearing so this is what it's going to sound like and what it's going to look like but there's shouldn't be any dropped frames right now i have 19 frames for some reason that's probably because i boosted up the chunks and it's loading it up yeah so now that's why it's loading but before i had it at 12 and 15 i believe but i'm going to drop it to 13 but yeah there we go see now we have a lot faster frame rates because these are already loaded chunks so on average i get about 50 which is good i set the max frame rate to 60 and that's just on a basic m1 as you can see in the top right hand corner the cpu is only eight on the m1 chip and 8 gigs ram 8 gigs cpu 8 gig gpu it's very very standard very very low budget very friendly so if you decide to record and do anything like this, you could do easy Minecraft gameplay with just a $500 system nowadays. It's, it's insanely easy. 
even on a PS5, you can technically just do the same setup. I think a PS5 would be easier, but you can't record Java, obviously. And if you want to record specifically, you know, PC games is the best way you could do it. Obviously, you can open up Discord and have audio running from there. You also would have to change the audio uh, settings for each person if you decide to have multiple people on there. Uh, but for now, this is how, it's, how it is, and uh, it works for me, so it should work for you. And the activity monitor, as you can see, I'm using pr practically my entire system. So if I push it even a little bit more or have a little bit more applications open if i close chrome open music or open a few more devices up there it's going to lag it up but i also wanted to show off the audio file here the, the full file size right here get info a six minute video is about so a six minute video is about th almost four gigs and that's with the 4800 i believe for the file audio type but yeah if i'm going to be recording for 30 40 50 minutes then each session it might be a little different and i'm pretty sure i'm going to be recording for probably an hour two hours it's going to be pushed up for a very long time so we're going to have to like actually check out the performance over a long period of time which is why we're going to do test worlds and stuff like that to be able to push the limit on this but for now that's the setup if you want to do any recording like i'm going to be doing on the future for my channels so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one we out